Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is the uh, answer video to the Q&A video game related question that I posted on November 17th. We're finally here. Uh, I was going to do it a little earlier, but then I was getting uh, one or two more comments, so I wanted to kind of wait a little bit longer. So thank you to everyone who did uh, leave a comment. I didn't get as many as what I would have hoped, um, but I am very glad that I did get some, because if I only got one, that would have been kind of weird. But anyway, thank you again for uh, everyone who participated. Make sure to like this video if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new. Enjoy whatever kind of gameplay uh, you're seeing. Either that's probably Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, or 3, uh, depending on which one I, I you know, decide to play. But we're just going down here uh, straight from my phone. I'm not picking any favorites. I'm just reading. So here we go. This is from Detective Cobra 7534 who asks, uh, What's your favorite game of all time and the most well-made game? Are you a fan of the Naughty Dog games and Red Dead Redemption 2? So, uh, favorite game of all time. This is tough. I don't... I don't know if I can really give an answer to that, because I've played a lot of video games. Obviously, I haven't played, like, a billion of them, but, you know, I've played a lot ever since I was a kid. And uh, there's a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones, but, I mean, if I were to pick, like, one right now that I've, you know, really kind of gravitated towards, uh, I I'd probably have to say, like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have over 270 hours in that game, uh, which probably isn't a lot to some of you, um, but it it's a pretty effing good game, man. I mean, Dying Light 2 is also one of those. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, uh, of course, Modern Warfare 2019. I, I really don't think I could choose a favorite. You know, it's really it's really hard. Uh, I don't have kids, but it's like you know, what's your favorite kid or something like that. It's it's very uh, not an easy thing to answer. But if I had a real like if I had a gun to my head and they were like, choose your favorite game, I'd have to say, ah oh, man, maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Man, I spent a lot of time in that game. And what's what's kind of ironic is that I actually uninstalled it because uh, I didn't have room for Modern Warfare Three. But uh, hopefully for Christmas, I will be getting an SSD. And I'll be able to, uh, you know, kind of uh, work forward or work toward uh, putting more games on that, so I can actually reinstall Valhalla. But I love a lot of a lot of stuff, man, and uh, I'd have to go with Valhalla for that. I don't know if it really is my favorite, but if I had to choose, it'd probably be that. Um, what is the most well-made game? I don't know if that's the most well game I own, or just in general. But in terms of in, in generalities. That's also hard to pick, like, and, and, you know, obviously what I say isn't objective, but in my opinion, the most well-made game, uh, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Red Dead 2, uh, I own it, but I might have to go with that, I mean, look, like, Elden Ring is a friggin' masterpiece, right, but Elden Ring stutters, I call it stutter ring, um, Elden Ring runs, like, dog cheeks half the time, it, it's a, like, I beat that game, okay, like, look, I have over 200 hours on Elden Ring, I love that game. Uh, but it just, it runs like poop. I mean, straight up. Like, there's tons of, tons of lag, uh, tons of screen, um, not tearing, but, like, screen jitter, where, like, when you move the camera, it kind of, like, goes all over the place. Um, you know, obviously, like, Lego Star Wars, Skywalker Saga, I, you know, obviously I'm a massive Star Wars fan. Um, but in terms of just, like, generalities, the best made, I'd have to go with either Red Dead 2 or Grand Theft Auto 5. I mean, you really... Now, again, not to be confused with my favorite, but in terms of best made, it, it, it is really, really difficult to beat a Rockstar game. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. They're not my favorite games, alright? Like, look, I'll play Saints Row the Third over GTA any freaking day. But, obviously, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead are, are pretty much the top dogs, in my opinion. Are you a fan of the Naughty Dog games? Yes, I do have a PS4. I want to get a PS5 for Christmas. Hopefully, I will. Uh, if not, whatever. But with, um... Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog, with Naughty Dog, uh, Naughty Dog, uh, I have to say that, uh, I, I haven't played all their games, uh, but I have played all the Uncharted games, with Nathan Drake and Chloe Frazier and, uh, the other, the other girl, uh, I have played all those, I love all those, I think they're really, really good stuff, uh, Uncharted has a few moments where, you know, because it's more of a story-based game, there's specific things happening at specific times, uh, and with that, you know, you can obviously, there, there's a few times where you die because the guy's, you know, scripted wrong, or, you know, I've died, I think, like, seven or eight times in a row, dude, like, I think it was, like, the first Uncharted game, like, you're, you're, you're basically, like, told to, like, rush, rush at guys, you know what I mean, like, just, Nathan Drake is, you know, oh, he's, he's freaking bulletproof, just rush like hell, and then I rushed, uh, you know, at the boss at the end of the game, 
And uh, I died like seven times in a row because you're not supposed to, br- r- you know, rush them. You're supposed to go behind a crate or something. So, you know, they have issues in my opinion, but I do love them. They're very good games. The movie is uh, good. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, it's horrible. The the Uncharted movie with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, it's good. Like, it's not a bad movie. Um, obviously, they should have done an animated movie, like how they made the Tintin film. Uh, and just, you know, did it like that. That's how I think they should also do the Borderlands film. I don't know why the hell they're doing Borderlands live action. Makes no freaking sense. Make it look like the video game cutscenes, and you got yourself a winner, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. But the games itself, they're good. Uh, Last of Us Part One, I did. I don't own it. I played it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna play Part Two. Just all the the weird stuff in that game. That from what I've heard, it's like, oh boy, I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, you know, I do like Uncharted and The Last of Us Part One. Red Dead Two, again, I own it. I've played a little bit of it. I haven't played all of it because uh, I have a pretty big backlog at the moment. Um, I'm currently working on Saints Row the Third, but it uh, I, I will say that it's a very well made game. It's fun. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like the most fun game in the world because you got to clean your gun and you got to eat and got to shave. So it's a very it's a realistic type of fun. But no, I do enjoy it. I can't when I when I do beat the game, I do look forward to using cheat codes. I wish they had it, um, added director mode, but what are you gonna do? Uh, so thank you uh, to Detective Cobra. Next we got Recon Trooper who asks on Modern Warfare 2019 uh, against bots offline. I'm, I'm I'm assuming. Are you more of a lone wolf or a team player? So when I play basically any Call of Duty. Uh, by myself, like, you know, with, with Modern Warfare 2019, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll put on some music or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll throw on a free-for-all match for 10, 15 minutes, whatever, do a few maps, uh, I, I rarely only play in Team Deathmatch and free-for-all, I really don't play much of anything else, I probably should, but I don't, um, normally because the bots are kind of, they're not dumb, like, the bots in Modern Warfare 2019 actually pretty damn good, it's just the fact that, well, they're bots, so the, the, you know, no matter how good a bot is, it's still freaking AI, right, it's not gonna act like a real person, so if I were to do a team player, uh, it'd be kinda hard, because I'd have to, basically, it would just be me running after the bots the whole freaking match, and just, if, if you know, if, if a bot dies, I just find the next guy on my team or whatever, but if it's a free-for-all, I can't really do that, um, I'm more of a lone wolf, though. I got to be straight up. I mean, it's it's uh, when I'm playing TDM, it's not, you know, I don't do it too much. I kind of just treat TDM like a free for all. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I really don't do a whole lot of squad bra- squad based stuff, even if it's offline bots. I don't know. Sometimes I do, but more more often than not, I, I you know, um, I just do, uh, you know, I just kind of run around and shoot guys and see what happens. Uh, what would you hope to see if there was a Lego Jurassic Saga? So, first of all, I hope they don't call it that, because everything has to be a saga now, and I don't like it. But uh, regarding a, you know, if they basically made Lego Jurassic World slash park, or park slash world, in the same vein as the Skywalker Saga game, uh, I would, I mean, look, Lego Jurassic World itself is already a really effing good game, like, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good, like, it's the definitive Jurassic game, I know there's other ones, but, I mean, come on, this, Lego Jurassic World is the best one, right, I think we can all agree on that, I mean, it follows all the four movies, I know there's, a. Uh, Six. There's six now, um, and I actually look. I, I I love Jurassic Park one. I enjoy two. I can stomach three. I love four. I really freaking love five, and I adore six. I love every. Uh, basically, I love every movie. I think the Jurassic World trilogy is the best. Um, I know everyone will want to murder me for saying that, but f off. Payday <laughs> is what it is. Uh, but no, I I do. I mean, I really do love all those movies. And to see that we're getting a, if we were to get a Lego Jurassic Saga, I would have. Of course, all the movies, you know, so Jurassic Park 1, 2, 3, Jurassic World 1, 2, 3. Uh, and then after that, I would have uh, most, if not some, of the cast return, or at least get good boy. Because, look, I, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is a beautiful video game, right? Like, it's a beautiful video game. But the voice acting for a lot of these guys is dog cheeks, okay? Look, I'm a voice actor. I should specify I'm an unpaid voice actor. Um, I really, really, really want to do voice acting for a living. That's basically my dream job. And whenever I play Skywalker Saga and I hear Adam Driver, uh, you know, and and Kylo Ren, I should say, in the game, and he goes like, uh, I don't know, what's even a line he would say? Uh, This is beneath me, right? In the game, he goes... This is beneath me. Like, it sounds like Squidward. It's like the most nasally hobo that they found on the street. Instead of going... This is beneath me. They went, This is beneath me. It's like, says, You know what I mean? It's, it's trash. Uh, again, I'm not saying I'm the best voice actor of all time, but Jesus Christ, I, I, I need to get found out what's going on here. Uh, but no, I, I would definitely get a, you know, <laughs> hire me. 
Uh, but if you can't, if, if I'm too expensive, uh, definitely get the real guys to do it, or at least someone better than me or someone more qualified. Um, but yeah, definitely get some good voice acting in there. Of course, LEGO Jurassic World did have really good hub worlds. Uh, you know, they weren't the best in, in, in LEGO game history, but they were good. And, uh, you know, I do think that they could do a lot more with that. You know, I mean, instead of having, like... I mean, LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is basically... Uh, a hub world based game but technically it is open world because really the only thing separating like Mustafar from Jack who is you know or Takodana from Naboo that kind of rhymed is um I didn't plan it like that but it's it's like it's a loading screen right I mean but it's straight it's just you in hyperspace that's what it is but it's a loading screen but it's so effing seamless and fast it, it gives the illusion that yeah you're in this one gigantic galaxy right you're not going to different hub worlds it's all in the same galaxy and they could definitely do that here. I mean, you got two islands, right? Hell, you got Isla Sorna and Isla Nublar. I mean, just make two big, giant maps, and you're good. You know what I mean? So I think that'd be really fun. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I really want. It's just good voice acting, really big open-world hubs, and uh, just, you know, have more have more life to it. I know that the LEGO Jurassic World game was on an older engine, uh, but, it you know, it did have life, right? It had dinosaurs walking around. It had the Jurassic World, like the amusement park and all that. So it had stuff in it, but... You know, obviously we're we're in a new engine for Lego games, and I want to see you know something different. So thank you, uh, Recon. Appreciate it. Echo Kill Shot. What is the definitive game unbiased for each genre? Oh boy. So I. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So I have not played every genre. Okay, I'm gonna be straight up. Uh, action. So he has action adventure, action, sports, platformer, RPG simulation, FPS. Uh, I, I guess. TPS would be there, too. Um, strategy, survival, and fighting. So we're just going to go straight down the list. Unbiased, though. Okay. So action-adventure. That's tough. Uh, the the definitive game. So I don't know if... I don't know if definitive means the like the, the, the best made or the most favorite. I'm going to assume it means best. Um, like, the go-to game for, for, you know, that genre. So action-adventure, that's tough, man. I... See, GTA V, it's an old-ass, crusty game now. It's, like, more than 10 years old. But it, it's still, like, it's still effing... Like, even the 360 version. You know what I mean? It still holds up. So I would either have to go maybe Grand Theft Auto V. I, maybe Elden Ring, because that game really... Like, I know it's, it's a get-good type of game, but that game really... When it's not stuttering to all get out, it, it's a good, it's a good game. Uh, so, you know, man, then you got Red Dead. You've got, uh... Oh, jeez. I mean, I, I, I don't know if Uncharted would count as action or action-adventure. Um, I'd have to maybe go with, with Grand Theft Auto V, because it, it's everything that comes out now in terms of, like, open world or, like, any open world game in a city. The first thing people do is, like, oh, is it better than GTA V? Oh, can it match GTA V? And, again, I'm not the biggest fan of GTA V. I actually uninstalled it. I get bored with it really fast. But, it like, it objectively is a great game. I don't want to say it's the best, but in terms of action-adventure... Yeah, it's up there, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love playing Just Cause and Saints Row and Lego games, but, I mean, unbiased, I'd have to go probably with GTA V. Action, uh, maybe Uncharted. I don't know. I mean, Uncharted 4 Thief's End is pretty freaking good. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe... I don't want to say Spider-Man because I played that game on the PS4, and if I get a PS5, I'm playing the newer version of it. So, you know, I, I'm I technically... I, when I played Spider-Man PS4, I played the the worst version of it, so to speak, uh, as of right now. So I got to replay that. But uh, there's a lot of hard, difficult choices for action because there's so freaking many. You know what I mean? Um, so I maybe have to go with uh, Uncharted. I think Uncharted 4: Thief's End. I mean, that's that's a really good action game. Again, I think there are games that I like to play more, but unbiased. It's pretty good. Uh, sports, I real, I, I probably only played like two or three sports games in my life. I mean, I don't know if Lego 2K Drive counts or like racing games. I, maybe they do. I maybe it has to be a Forza game. I don't know. But uh, I, I, I played, I played Cars 2, the video game. I played Split Second, which is a really effing good game. Lego 2K Drive, uh, Flat Out 2 on the. PS2, uh, but I, you know, you can mean sports as in like football, basketball, and all that. I have not really. I I played NBA 2K something for like five minutes and I hated it. Um, I played a, a, a really old football game uh, on I think my PS2 and I was like eight or nine um, and I sucked at it. So look, I like like I know like it, it, it look it is a stigma where you know a manly guy is like every guy has to like sports and cars and guns and yeah I like cars guns and sports but I'm not like 
you know, I'll watch the Browns, but I'm not going to, I don't know the names of every effing player on every team in the world. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I, you know me, I'm franchise fanatic, right? I'm not sports fanatic. I like sports as, you know, I pretty much every dude does, I think, to to some degree. But, you know, I'm not the biggest sports guy in the world, but I like it. Um, but sports games, I, I don't know, man. I, I can't stand them. I, I'll watch sports. I like football and basketball, but I'm not watching. I'm not playing basketball. Okay, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I can go out to my hoop in, in real life and throw some, get some, get some baller hip bangers. Uh, you know, was what, what the what the what the hip young kids say, some baller bangers. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, sports games. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, NBA 2K, fucking 10. I don't know. I don't know. I'm joking, of course, but I don't know. Sports games, I don't really play them. I mean, I guess racing games, if that counts. Uh, platformer. See, I played a lot of Mario as a kid. Uh, I do like... I, I love Mario now. I just really don't have any Nintendo consoles now. Um, obviously, like, Super Mario 64, that's, like, the you know, the classic. Um, I heard Super Mario Wonder is really good, but I haven't played it. Uh, Sonic. I played some Sonic games. Some of those are pretty janky. I think Sonic Generations is the best. Uh... Lego game. I guess Lego games do count as platformer, to some degree. Uh, that's tough though, man. I don't know. Dang, platformer. Rayman raving. Rayman. Oh no, the uh, Rayman Legends. That's a good one. Rayman Legends. I think that's. Uh, obviously, it, it's hard to come up with a list unbiased when I haven't played every game ever made ever. Uh, but from stuff that I have played, Rayman Legends, pretty effing good game, man. Get that on your Xbox, dude. That's a good game. Uh, RPG. This is tough too. I love Skyrim. Skyrim is, uh, uh, you know, it's it's the basis of a lot of, of of perfect RPGs. Elden Ring again, when it's not stuttering, when you're moving the camera and runs at like eight FPS, um, it it really is a great game. Like the art direction's amazing. The RPG stuff is incredible. Um, you know, you also get the new Assassin's Creed games, Origins Odyssey, Valhalla. Uh, Valhalla is, as I mentioned before, one of, if not my favorite game ever made. But unbiased, um, you know, obviously Elden Ring and, you know, Skyrim is more, uh, you know, qualified for me to say here than, than you know, Valhalla. Starfield is another great example of an amazing open world RPG. Um, but I gotta top this. I gotta say the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, man. I have to. I mean, that game, it, it, it was a complete mess when it came out. But now it's really good. It's really fun. Um, I've always loved playing it. I got it on the 360. I think it was one of the first M-rated games I was actually allowed to play. Because um, I think my mom was like, you, you can't behead people. And I was like, well, you can only behead people. Oh, sorry. You can only behead people at, you know, level 20. And she's like, okay. That's it. That's not how I signed out when I was 12, but you know what I mean. And uh, it was just really weird that it was like, okay, uh, this is it. Like, this, can we get better than Skyrim? And yeah, we got Elden Ring and whatnot, but I think I gotta go Skyrim with that one. Simulation, uh, I don't think I've ever played a simulation. Oh, no, I played Goat Simulator. Um, so I guess, I guess on a technicality, Goat Simulator, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I wanted to get that one, that, uh, that one game that's out now, what's it called? Not Terraforma. Freaking teardown. I want to get teardown. That's effing cool. That's like Minecraft and Lego Worlds, but like you blow everything up. And it's really cool. I wanted to get that, uh, but I I've, I don't think I've ever played a simulation other than Goat Simulator. Um, so so that one. Um, and I don't know of any other ones either. I mean, I I, I think there's like four Goat Simulators. There's a freaking there's like a toast. I, I think it plays a toast. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, FPS. You gotta go Call of Duty. You 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 cannot beat Call of Duty, alright? It's the best-selling thing in the world since sliced bread, except for GTA V. Um, they're fun as hell. Of course, some of them don't have offline bots. I only play the ones with offline bots, as you guys know. But I might have to go with uh, either Modern Warfare 2019 or Modern Warfare 2007. Because Modern Warfare 2007 really kind of, you know, bridged the gap of what a shooter can be. And then Modern Warfare 2019, offline-wise, I know when everyone, no one's camping behind doors and, and putting claymores and doors and modern warfare, uh, it, it, it really took what Call of Duty is and just amped it up in with an even bigger budget. just made it feel even better. So I gotta go with either Modern Warfare 2019 or Modern Warfare 2007 for that one. Uh, strategy, I've never played a strategy game in my life, I don't think. I really don't even know. Chess. We're going with che checkers. We're going with checkers. Checkers and chess. Um, survival. Uh, hmm. I mean, Lego Worlds was gonna get survivor mode, and then they 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 uh they pulled pulled out of that one. But uh, I, I I don't know Minecraft. Uh, 
Val- Valheim. Valheim's a good game. I mean, it's kind of early access, but Valheim's all right, I guess. Um, maybe Minecraft, because, you know, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Minecraft, but it's good. I play it from time to time. It's fun to run around the worlds and, and, and build a really shitty-looking house and then pretend like it was really good, uh, you know. But maybe I got to say Minecraft, I would think. And then fighting, I want to say Injustice because I love DC. But obviously, Mortal Kombat is, is I, I, w- I would assume, to be better. I, I did play, uh, I actually own Mortal Kombat 10, uh, is, is, but, you know, when I was a kid, I, I said Mortal Kombat X, and uh, the guy at GameStop was like, what are you talking about? So, uh, I gotta say that one, because Mortal Kombat is obviously really what kind of made fighting games kind of, uh, you know, rocket to a... a stratosphere like you know quantity like without mortal Kombat, we wouldn't have gotten effing injustice you know what i'm saying so i gotta go with mortal Kombat. i haven't played any of them except for x or 10 um as as normal people say but uh you know i heard mortal Kombat one is good like like a reboot thing i guess i don't know but yeah i gotta go with mortal Kombat. so thanks echo i appreciate it good questions there put me uh on the spot there uh Good stuff. All right, and then we have uh, C.A.M. Cam901, who says, What's a franchise that has very few or no games that you'd like to see one made for? So, uh, I mean, obviously, we got a lot of stuff for Star Wars, Marvel, DC. Um, maybe, I don't know, that's tough. I mean, I would, I would probably have to say, uh, I would think Kingsman. Maybe Kingsman or like Pirates of the Caribbean because you know look we got like Assassin's Creed Black Flag and we've we've gotten pirate games right we got the Outworld's End game we have Lego Pirates of the Caribbean um, but you know to have like a like a, a really massive open world AAA Disney made Pirates of the Caribbean game with, with the actual voice actors that'd be freaking incredible basically a T rated version of Black Flag but it's under the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, you know logo. That'd be cool. Or Kingsman. Again, I love Kingsman, man. Kingsman, the, the Secret Service, the Golden Circle, and the Kingsman. I think we're getting Kingsman, the Blue Blood, or something, if that's even happening. Because, believe it or not, Kingsman is actually a Disney franchise now because they bought uh, Fox. So, yeah, I mean, Kingsman, it's a Disney thing now. Um, and Disney is very, you know, equipment with that. So, I think, I think I'd have to go with Kingsman, honestly. I think it's a really good... Uh, I, I think Kingsman... Sorry if you hear my mom. She's, like, screaming. I do think that the Kingsman franchise is very good. I mean, hell, modern... Uh, not modern warfare. Matthew Vaughn is one of the best directors, I think, in terms of action scenes. But, like, the, the church scene in Kingsman, um, you know, the Golden Circle, even the Kingsman, they have really, really good action scenes. And the plots are good. The CGI is great. They're funny. I think they're really, really well-made films. And I can't wait to see what they go forward with in the future. But in terms of a game, man, just imagine, like, an open-world Kingsman game where you're, like, a Secret Service spy guy. Of course, it would be rated M. I think that'd be a lot of fun to do. Uh, I'm very much excited to see if they even make one, you know what I mean? Because now that Disney has it, they have a, a butt ton of money, so they can do it. And uh, I think having, like I said, uh, either a Pirates of the Caribbean, true open world art, you know, true open world game, maybe an RPG, but a true open world game and a true open world Kingsman game where you're kind of going on missions and all that and you get the cars and the cool gadgets, I mean, and the awesome action scenes. I mean, think of like an Uncharted you know, a set piece, but in an open world with Kingsman characters. That would be insane. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys very much for commenting. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay again. Thank you to everyone who did, uh, you know, kind of, I guess, um, you know, put their effort into this. I didn't get as many comments, but I am appreciative for what I got. I'm going to do more of these in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.